All right, hello everybody, this is Aaron to you too, and I'm preparing to do a let's try, a mini let's try, of the game Miner 2049er for the ColecoVision. This is part of an ongoing quest, my ColecoVision quest, to keep making speedruns out of ColecoVision games. However, I haven't really done a whole lot in the last year or so, so um, I've hit a lot of the games I really enjoyed as a kid, and then, you know, and then it's more finding more things, and I'm usually more in my wheelhouse, but I always enjoyed this one as a kid, but I found it to be very hard. Um, <laughs> and uh, look, micro fun, the fun goes on forever. Well, I guess it has been since 1983 when this, uh, at least came out, this version of it. Um, so that would be, what, almost 40 years. Almost as old as I am. Anyway, I'm going to start here in just a moment, but uh, this is a, I guess you call it like a platformer, like it, it's Donkey Kong-ish, but not, I don't know, but we'll see it here in just a moment. Hi, Eldenina. Um, I'm my third best fan. I, uh, I appreciate you saying that, but here we go. We'll go ahead and start the timer, and I will start the game. Oh, one player. The object, I mean, I've played this before. The object here is to get all of the ground drawn on, I think. But you have to be careful, because you can fall off the sides. Oh, hey, you're important, Eldenina. No worries. Hey, I beat the first level without dying. Now, <laughs> first level is easy. Second level, it is hard. I think I gotta come all the way back up here again anyway, so... Alright, we got that. Now I gotta go that way. Oh, I missed! And, um... <laughs> Yeah, so like each of these items you get, I guess, makes you invincible and you kill the, uh, the creepy looking things. Oh, I did that wrong. Let's go ahead and do this. So we got rid of all the enemies. Now I just need to do the platforming well. Oh, I missed the spot. Uh-oh, I'm almost out of time. <laughs> so there is an added level of difficulty with the timer going. You can feel my nostalgia tingling. I, I hope not. <laughs> I headbutted myself on whatever that is. Is this a... Oh, I think it only goes one direction. Ah, and we're dead. There's game over. So first game over in two minutes and 30 seconds. There's games that you play that were Portuguese, and those, like, get lost. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, a lot of these games didn't really get around the world. They are all kind of local, because they were pretty easy to make. Um, and yes, jumps are a problem. Oh, continue. We'll go up. Here we go. I guess I didn't really need to go that far. Come on, hit the spot. Yeah, and you can fall, but you can only fall a very small amount, like one floor. And it has to be, like, basically exactly that. Uh, high score you posted, Gib Girl. Looks like it wouldn't be that difficult to beat. Um, you know, saying someone who is now three minutes into playing this, but it's 
get rid of this guy. I don't like him there. And I think in a, a speedrun setting, routing would be very important. Okay, I guess I just didn't trigger it. I was wondering why I wasn't falling. Hey, Three Kings, I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? I keep thinking I can just jump up there. Okay, I'm just making sure there wasn't some way to activate that. <laughs> uh, yes, I've played Terraria. I'm not really a fan. Um, it's a little... Those sorts of games are a little slow for me, I think. Ow, oh, shoot! I tried to get fancy with it, and it did not pay off. There we go. Alright, that level's kind of hard. Hey, it took another 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Gravity is a problem. I've been a long-time opponent of gravity. I have asked for it to be removed. I don't know. <laughs> it's been silly now. We must end gravity stranglehold on our country. Only then will we float up and achieve the heights that we are hoping for. Oh, no, no, no. I... Terraria, uh, Minecraft, that whole era of games is beyond me. I've tried to watch them play them, and I just can't. And we're flat. Which is weird. I always kind of thought I would like those sorts of games, because I really liked Legos as a kid. I think some of this just has to do with the way, uh, maybe it's emulator, excuse me, emulator lag on the inputs. Maybe it is just not being used to it, but I am dying more than I expected <laughs> by failing to jump. Let's go up here. Up. 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 Actually timed that very well. Probably too good. There we go. <clears throat> this level, I'm not really sure what to make. Uh, what are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> okay, that took less than two minutes and 30 seconds that time. But at least the first level's going by pretty good. So again, the, the idea today is I'm going to pick two different games. Probably should have went left first and then went back for that. Crap. I guess I could have jumped right back over. Hmm. But we're going to play this again for about 22 minutes, and then we will play... Quest for Quintana Roo, which I'm kind of waiting these. Like, this is a game I definitely know I could make a speedrun out of. That one is a game I definitely don't think I can make a speedrun out of, but maybe we'll find something out from last time I played. You know what? I really don't need to get that guy at that point. Crap. I'm gonna try it different this time. I don't really need to kill that guy either. It just seems like he's there, I should. I missed the lantern. Uh, 
I missed him, but we're still got time. Good. Okay, so there is a reason why I might be concerned about that, but... Got that diagonal falling, not like, you know, normally you jump like this, but no, this is if there isn't something here, you just go this way forever. Um, I think Vampire Killer for the MSX, the first one I saw that really kind of highlighted that. Uh... And I know Maze of Gallius is that way too. All these games I know from watching other people play and not myself. <laughs> Never mind that I'm playing on blue MSX. I am actually playing on an MSX emulator, but... Let me try this. That might be faster. It seems like there's less backtracking, at least. Come on, there we go. These are all things I can time. Else. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm leaning towards. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, really doing a good job of creating, um, <laughs> what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, any sort of suspense here, but I could always find something interesting in the other one and then, you know, continually failing at this might make me feel differently. Like that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that. Ah, go up. This guy stays uh, vulnerable long enough, I don't really have to worry about that. Shoot, miss one. There we go. Missed it again. There we go. I was so worried about jumping over it that I, uh... Which reminds me, I want to check something. Nope, okay. I thought maybe there was a chance I could, like, uh... Sneak onto that. Dang it. I'm half tempted to play two-player just so I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning this quickly, but I know that's not how it works. Oh, it's a numpad thing. Okay. See, that makes the, uh, that's good to know. Thank you, <laughs> girl. Um, I do have a numpad set up. It's just not, I should probably, um, set it up on the actual controller, though. I guess one of the disadvantages of playing with an Xbox 360 controller is it doesn't quite have the, uh, the 12 or the 14 buttons that the, uh, the ColecoVision controller had. Yep, I missed one. No! Oh, so close. Get that. Dude. I'm assuming any sort of higher difficulty on this, which I do assume exists. It doesn't say it, but dang it. Jump, 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 jump button. All right, go. Woo! <laughs> 
Missed a lot of that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Not quite as bad. So what? There we go. Interesting. Forgot, if you jump, you can't fall, like, at all. Alright, let's do this. Forgot which floor it was the first floor. Oop. I think I waited too long. There we go. Whoop. Got him. Alright, this is the run where we clear level three. <laughs> I hope. Is a trap. I just realized that. That is a trap. I'm not going that way. Also a trap. I think going to four is the best thing to do. We're gonna try that. No. Oh, yeah, so that doesn't do anything. But... Oh, I thought that was close. Alright, here we go. <laughs> this is the run. <laughs> Too early again. There we go. Much better. Thank you for the good luck, Fesca. It is going to be needed. here. Not sure I should have. Oh, I have to go back to where it is. I forgot which button it was to jump. Uh 
Uh oh, we're almost out of time. All right, we got it. Hooray! Level four now. <laughs> Whatever this is. Hey, that worked. Can I get up there? Nope. I can just fall. <laughs> this is uh, a little bit trickier, I think. Let me just check one more time. No, I can't. I can't even get close to that. Okay. Here we go. We're just gonna go all the way up, I guess. Yeah, it's like you have to wait for each one. Or can I make that? I don't know. I feel like that's... I feel like figuring out how to do that one is going to be hard enough. Here we go. down. Level two is... Uh... Clear that out. And go up, 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 up. Slide down here. Take out that dude. Missed. I'm so worried about jumping over it like I did that one time. And I keep missing that small bit. Let's do all the low stuff first. I wonder if doing three first is faster than doing that that way. Did the same thing. <laughs> Alright, no. <laughs> Too late. And dead. I got stuck. Alright, last try. It still is not technically our timer yet, so... Yeah, apparently if you try to walk off the elevator before it's done, you can get stuck. <laughs> Which isn't surprising. Honestly, but, uh... Something to think about. Hooray! Hi, Lilo. The, uh, the bots... Crap. The bot says hi, too. You just can't see it. Because I have, uh... Well, actually, I think there's a... Is there a command to say hi to the bot? I don't remember. Oops. I have a bunch of commands that I just made up one day, and I don't remember what any of them are. And there's no listing anywhere <laughs> to look at them, so... There we go. Okay, remember, do the first floor first. Then we'll go to the third floor. Uh, 
Oh wait, that's right. I have to kind of. There we go. I can't just abandon the elevator and then come back to it later. The game doesn't really let me do that. There we go. So what was that? It was, um... Three, four, two? And I'm gonna be late. Nope. Oh, crap. <laughs> Forget the way the jumps work in this game. All right, so that game is hard. That's what we're gonna we're gonna leave that at. That. That is a uh, minor twenty forty nine er. It is. Um, I think you know a little bit more practice and stuff. We'll get through it just fine. It won't be that bad. But the uh, there's a lot of ColecoVision stuff. The uh, platforming can be ultra precise, and some of the weaknesses uh, just don't go very well. So, but yeah, I will definitely be back to play this again. That is for sure. And uh, hopefully um, do a little bit better.